So the next one is you can see f of x is equal to 0. And uh, I'm sorry, we want to find the zeros. So basically, again, guys, we're finding the values of x that are equal to 0. So we're just going to replace this equation with f of x equaling to 0. Now, again, we want to write this as a linear factorization. We want to write this as a product of its factors. So the first thing we want to do, rather than looking at our phone, is see what common terms we can factor out. And you can see here that we can factor out an x. So as I factor out an x, I get x squared minus 5x plus 4. All right. But the problem is, I just factored this. right? I just rewrote this as a product. The problem is I didn't write this as a product of linear factors. This is a factor, but it's a quadratic. Now, fortunately, it's a quadratic trinomial. Right? And we recognize, oh, we've done a lot of these factoring before. right? I can be able to factor this. I basically need to understand what two values multiply to give me 4, but add to give me negative 5. Well, since they're adding to give me a negative 5, that means my two factors of 4 need to both be negative. So I can write this as x times x minus 4 times x minus 1. Now I have rewritten this equation as a product of linear factors. right? And so therefore, I can use the zero product property, but to kind of skip some steps, I hopefully you guys have seen this pattern go on. We can just write the zeros as 0, 1, and 4. And these all have a multiplicity of equal to 1. right? And obviously, I rewrote it as a product of my linear factorization, which you know, I can also just rewrite the linear factorization here as x times x minus 4 times x minus 1. Okay, Zeros with the multiplicity, because again, all of these have a power of 1. right? So that's why the multiplicity is there. And then you can list the zeros. Make sure you label the multiplicity. And then you can write the linear factorization. Any questions on the factoring? Yes. So when you were finding multiplicity for that, it's only of the, like multiplicity is only of what we factored? Like you find the multiplicity only from the linear factors. Okay. So you can't find the multiplicity, that's not a linear factor. Okay. All right? And we'll, we'll, you'll see, once, you do, once we look at all these examples, um, you